Hello again, this is Captain John, and today we're going to continue our discovery of the fascinating world of chart navigation and how to identify light structures and lighthouses at nighttime for safe sailing navigation. You want to always make a positive identification on a light to keep from running aground and to keep track of where you are. And this applies even if you have GPS or a chart plotter. And I'm going to show you a very easy way to identify and read a light. Let's take a look at a small section of a chart just off of Key West, Florida. And the name of this light is called San Key. The name of a light is always in all capitals. And you can see the name of the light, San Key, in capital letters. Light structures show a symbol of a dot, which is the exact position of the light, along with a teardrop shape somewhere over the dot. You can see the abbreviation TR next to the light, which means tower. Now let's take a look at the abbreviation, which has been written just above the light. The light carries a flashing characteristic, and there are two flashes every 15 seconds. This is called a group flashing light, and you can tell it's a group because the two is inside parentheses. This means that the total period of light and dark that you will see is 15 seconds. This light is 109 feet tall, and on a clear night, you can see this light from 11 miles away. This distance of visibility, known as nominal range, does not take into account the curvature of the Earth or atmospheric conditions such as fog or haze. This light also carries a special radar transponder beacon, abbreviated RACON, which will show a Morse code symbol on your radar. The RACON for San Key is a long dash and dot, and you can home in on this beacon if you have radar to make your sailing navigation even safer than before. Well, that's it for the day. Have a great sail, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.